Now you know her for her attitude, her raps, her style, her flow. South London's favorite. She's always moving bolsey on any tracks that she's on. And I just love her energy, man. Been loving her energy for a long time. And I'm so happy that she's my guest today. Nadia Rose is in the building. How are you feeling, Miss Rose? Hello, I'm lovely. That intro is nice as well. Oh, really? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> Let's go. Um, when I was doing, just doing my research and just looking back into things and just looking at your timeline and everything, and I was just thinking, where can I start from? And I wanted to start from here. The collaboration with you and Menelisi. That, for me, would have been, like, I know how, for people who grew up listening to Spice Girls and how they always have that iconic figure they're they're up there yep. in terms of uk legends 100 percent. but what was it like making a song with a spice girl mate that must have been different <laughs> it was crazy i mean i'm like from i was a you spice girls was yeah. my biggest inspirations like just seeing well one it was women yeah um just all different walks of life but they came together and they just made amazing music and their vibration just seemed like they just gelled well mm. just reminded me of my friends at school um so yeah to be able to actually <laughs> one be in the same room as one of them uh, also create she yeah. knew about me it wasn't like it was something that was formulated by the labels or something behind <laughs> yeah, the scenes yeah, yeah. She was pulling strings it was just hella organic mm. i obviously a super fan she um had recently discovered me and yeah she she wanted me involved and <laughs> who was i to say no of course <laughs> i mean the video looked really really good you lot was riding around in a car and speaking about just women and obviously that unity that they had in a group that's something I feel like that's always kind of been your movement. That's something that mm -hmm. you've always wanted to do. And recently, recipe that's just been released. Yeah, that was an all woman cast. It was. I mean, well, there was a few, few chances. Okay, not, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Chance. I mean, I'm just going by what I mean. There was I mean? a couple, but um, it was directed by women, Daisy uh, yeah. Maskell at Kiss and Anna, um, mm -hmm. which was amazing. I've never actually worked with any female directors. Was that, so that was your I first know, time? I know. Actually, no, tell her I have worked with one, um, but that was someone else's project. Like on my own stuff, yeah. I've never actually worked um, with a female director. So to have two of them and just we were just all just vibing off of each other and we just shared ideas and it was mm. just yeah it was so easy it was just like i don't know men are great but women wow <laughs> <laughs> i mean shooting a recipe looking at it the final edit the final product and obviously you releasing it looked like a vibe it looked like it was fun it was and it looked like that kind of translate throughout even though we we as fans don't see what happens behind uh -huh. the scenes but you know full well what happens in there so why recipe why now uh, why I decided to come up with that track and what's happening next? I want to get that out early because there's still a few couple, so, <laughs> few couple questions that I want to go through. So I want to get that out early first. Um, well, recipe for me is, you know, it's all about me just letting you know the ingredients that I have. I possess the ingredients that you need mm. to fuel, you get it, your day. Talk your stuff. You know what I mean? Um, Talk it. <laughs> so yeah, and everyone knows I'm a foodie. So anything to do with okay. food, anything like my process of creating is very similar to preparing a meal. Okay. You know, um, so I think that's just the direction that this track um, is basically, and people are receiving it well. People are, are yamming up there, they're <laughs> taking up all the slices, which yeah. I love. Um, and yeah, it just felt like the right vibe. It's summertime, it gives you that feel. You can drop the top in your car and you can bunks to this, mm. or you can you know, be in your garden, feet up, heat wave settings, and running this tune. As so it, it was this week. Right. Right. So do you want to do the honours and just introduce your next track? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Come on. Well, yes, yes, it is your girl Nadia Rose, Nastiest Rose, Squad Boss, Bob Marlene, you know the rest. <laughs> and this is my latest single, Recipe. Follow at Represent Radio. At Represent Radio. Across all socials. That was Recipe with Nadia Rose. Um, I wanted to get into this because we're slap banging into the summer now. We've had... Numerous of festivals, Glastonbury is taking place, Wireless is taking place. Um, you're on festivals this year. You're doing them. How does it feel to once again be doing them again? Um, being back into that whole crowd setting, getting ready, getting prepared, right. getting mic'd up, all of that stuff. You've got two that I know of, um, Standard Calling and of course the 51st Festival. Yes, um, just did Standard Calling yesterday, which is was absolutely like? incredible. Yeah. Um, the vibes were great. The sun was out. Um, I brought out a fan. She um, was singing Squad. She knew all the third verse. It was dope. 
I let her take care of the third verse for me. She yeah. smashed it. Um, I'm going to post it on my socials today. So look out. Um, and yeah, I've got a couple. I'm not just in the UK. I, you know, I like to go abroad with of it course. as well. Of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, live, that's my, that's my home. Do you get mm. it? I just like, that's, I go on the stage, I wipe my feet on the mat and I just, <laughs> ready I home. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's my favorite place to be. I love creating the music in the studio. Mm-hmm. I love you know, writing, all of that. But actually being out there with the people and sharing that experience and that energy exchange, mm-hmm. oh, inject it into my veins. Coming through, winning the mobos like you did for the video squad and just showing how it can be done with just your friends. Like, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Again, you're a character. Like, I remember looking back <laughs> at that video and I was just like, yeah, you're a character. Like, it was just funny. Your personality was just showing through throughout that video. And then obviously winning it in 2016 to now present day, how different are you from that Nadia Rose then who's just new to the scene, coming through, do you know what I mean? And then yeah. winning a mobile, like, okay, wow, okay, I'm here. <laughs> and then... Yeah, yeah 2022 releasing recipe. Mate, do you know what? I mean, I'm I'm still I'm still naughty. I'm still Come on. me. Um, I'm always gonna be wacky and quirky and just different. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, at at one point when I was growing up, I thought that was a problem, but I embrace it and I absolutely love it. Mm. Um, I would just say, obviously, now I'm just a bit more grown, and there were some things I guess that I was naive to back then. So, yeah, I feel like I'm still the same, just with a bit more knowledge in my backpack. Mm. And, um, yeah, and just, my, I've grown as a, as a woman. And I'm just, um, I'm expressing that as I see fit. And I'm loving it. So, we're, on, we're basically, like, in the second half of the year now. I know, we're right? Second half of the year, 2022. No wasting of time. Man. I know. <laughs> um, is Nadia Rose releasing an album? Ooh. <laughs> And if so, Ooh. what does that look like for Nadia Rose in 2002? What features? Because I know people would expect have certain people, yeah. certain names yeah, expected yeah. on it. But right now, who is there anyone that you could tell? Say what, as it stands, what? I cannot share any of that information. Mm. Um, as it stands, I'm just enjoying, you know, giving you a lot of singles. Yeah, you know my. Um, some hors d'oeuvres, some, some starters, oh, you know. You're definitely a and, foodie. <laughs> and we're going to work our way to to that that main course. It's, it's yeah. definitely coming, I can tell you that. The main course is coming. <laughs> so, Nadia Rose, I prepared a game for you. Um, yeah, I, I did tell you, like, the game. I told you a bit about it. We're going to go into you it. Tell me the name of I it. I told you the name of the game. You said you liked the name. I did like the name. Mm-hmm. Are you a spice? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> we're going to talk about it off air so I can give you the full lowdown and then when we come back on, mm-hmm. you'll be ready and prepared. Same. Drake, text go green, 107.3. Like I said, I'm here with Nadia Rose. And if you have any questions, she's here. Please present them and I'll present it to her. Hey, 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 it's me, me, the music blog, and you are locked into Samuel Any. I'm giving him the blessing, the honour to play the Music Friday, new Music Friday. Run it up. Um, Before we get into the game, Are You A Spice? There was one more question I wanted to ask you. Lyrical Assassin, you just released that not too long ago. Um, Uh, That's a drill beat. It is, yeah. So, I mean, Nadia Rose. Are you planning on dropping more drill songs? <laughs> you know, absolutely. I mean, if you remember, I did my track with Six Seven, oh, twenty seventeen. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I've been, I've been letting y'all know that mm. I can, yeah, you know, I can do the drill Dabbling vibes. In there. Um, so there will be more. You know I me, mean? I'm very versatile. Give yes. me country, give me folk, give me pop. Anything I'm gonna do with it. So mm. there will be more drill. Question: Who is Nadia Rose feeling right now in the drill scene? Who Ooh. does she like? Um, I really like Diggity. I love Diggity. I think his yeah his his whole vibration for me is yeah is dope. Very creative as well. Very. All right, cool. This this game now is Are You a Spice? It's sort of similar to Pop Quiz. So if you've been listening to my show, um, Pop Quiz was on at five thirty today, and um, yeah, so this one's very similar, not too different, but these are questions based around the Spice Girls. 
Now, if you've been a fan of Nadia Rose for a long time, you will know she doesn't hide it. She's always expressed it that she's been a fan of the Spice Girls. And of course, she has a song with Men in DC as well. So, yeah, we're going to get into this and see how much of a fan she is. Um, hopefully, she likes the instrumental as well. <laughs> love it. You love it? I love it. All right, cool, Nadia Rose. So, we're going to go through this. I've got a couple questions here for you. If you get it right, you will hear this. If you get them wrong, you will hear this. Um, yeah. In order for you to be eligible to answer the question, you have to buzz the buzzer. Right. And then you will have 10 seconds to answer that Z question. Right. Are you ready? Ready. Is the rules clear? Yes. All right. Once you pass this point, there's no going back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get into this. I'm going to start the track again. Cool. When the beat drops, we will commence. All right. What year... Were the Spice Girls formed? 1994. Oh my gosh, Nadia Rose, that is absolutely right. All right, cool. Who said the line, if you want to get with me, you better make it fast? In the single, Wannabe. Um, wait. Um, I'm going to say that was... Mm, Mel C. No, Nadia Rose. That was Emma Bunton. Oh, cute, cute Emma. Yeah. All right, cool. Next one is what color was Emma Bunton outfit in their video? Stop. What color is her outfit? Gosh. Mm. It's a trip down memory lane. It um, is, isn't it? Uh, Take a guess on a color. Just because it's Emma, I'm going to say blue. Oh, no. The correct answer was white. She had an outfit. Yep. In the video, Viva Forever, mm -hmm. absolute tune. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what type of bird were the kids chasing in the beginning? Oh, my goodness. I mean, listen, I, could, I wasn't here to make it easy for you. What? Uh, I don't know. Given the circumstances, a dove. <laughs> 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 no, it was a rooster, Nadia Rose. Ridiculous. It was a rooster. Who is the oldest Spice Girl? Oh. And the thing is, Mel C told me this, you know. Mm. Uh, Do you want to phone a friend? Do you need a hint? I'm allowed to phone a friend? You can phone a friend if you want to phone a friend. <laughs> oh, my days. Right, I'm phoning Mel. <laughs> Are you going to phone Mel? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> might be in LA if I get charged for this. <laughs> right, let's see. Oh, it's ringing. It's ringing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Hopefully she responds. Don't let me down. She's talking, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's on my God, my no swearing. Sorry. It's all right. Right, I don't think we're getting any answer here. No. O2 messaging. Right, okay. Okay, okay. So I've phoned a friend, I've used that. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna ask a friend. You're gonna ask a friend, yeah? We're gonna we're gonna give you time to ask a friend if you know what it is. Mm, okay. Um I think I've got it. You think you've got it? <laughs> I think I've got it. Let's give a pause quickly for a second. Systems just... Right. <laughs> Where was we now? Just experienced a little bit of technical difficulties. Don't worry, we're back now. The question was, who is the oldest Spice Girl? Yep, you've buzzed. Jerry Hallowell. Nada Rose, you are absolutely right. It is Jerry Hallowell. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, cool. What year was the Spice Girls' debut album, Spice, released? Mm. Ooh. I'm torn between two years. Oh my God. So if they formed in 1994, yeah. what year would have been their debut album? I'm like, I want to say they gave it to us 
pretty early on. I'm gonna go 90. 95. No. It was 96, wasn't it? It was 96. I knew I should have gone with my car. You should have gone with your car. 96 was all that was spinning in my It was when you said it stays in 94. <laughs> I shouldn't have listened to you. All right, cool. We got a couple more and then we're done. What was the initials? What was the initial band's name before the name Spice Girls? Oh, I know that. You know that one? Touch. Ooh, yes. All right, cool. How many UK number ones did the Spice Girls have? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Go on, um, go for it. Give it a guess. Definitely a guess. Um, it's an odd number, not even. Uh, I'm gonna go 13. No, Nadia Rose, it's nine. Oh. Name all the albums in order of their release. Oh. Oh, mate. <laughs> In order of release. In order of release. So 96, they gave us Spice. Um, What's the next spice, two albums after? Um, or just the name of them. Oh, gosh. I'm, see, I'm seeing Viva Forever, but that's right. <laughs> and I'm seeing Spice. Spice World. Yes, yes, yes. One more. Last one. Spice World. This was dropped in 2000. Oh, I can see it. Wait. Oh, no. Spice Begins with an F. F. Spice, Spice, Spice World forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. All right. This one, because you missed out a couple and you got a couple wrong, this one is the clean sweep. So all I'm right. giving you a bonus question now. Oh my now. gosh, bonus, all right. Focus. Bonus question. If you get this wrong, unfortunately, you didn't win the game. Oh but if God. you get this right, all the questions are right. All are right. you ready? All right, I'm ready. What are the nicknames of all the Spice Girls? Nicknames. Yes. Okay. We got Sporty. Yeah. We got Scary. Yeah. We got Posh. Yep. We got Ginger. Mm-hmm. And we got Baby. Listen, Nadia Rose, <laughs> you are the winner <laughs> of today's yes. Are You a Spice? <laughs> Here's our spice. <laughs> Honestly, though. Oh. No? How are you feeling? Did you feel the pressure? Ah, oh, there was pressure there, you know. A few of them, I'm like, no, I should have got that slightly, but... Honestly, like, obviously, you see the end of the video with Viva Forever. I knew you was not going to get that one. I knew you wasn't going to get that. That one was hard. And even the outfit, Emma Bunton's outfit, all white. That was tricky. But I did think that the line, I thought you might have got that. If you want to get with me, you better I make know, it I know, yeah, that one I'm fumed about, I should have. Mm. And the 96, I let you sway me. But it's fine. I gave you the bonus question. You won the games. You got your prize at the end. Thank you. What's the prize? Where is it? Uh, come on, producer. Please bring the prize for me, please. I'm hearing prize. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> oh. So here's what Nadia Rose won. Don't tell my dentist. <laughs> <laughs> hey. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. I'm going to enjoy this. You got a sweet tooth? I have. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, this is right on my So alley. I was right. My research was right. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. You're absolutely <laughs> welcome. Nadi Rose, thank you so much for coming on the show. It was an absolute thank pleasure. You. And um, honestly, man, we're looking forward to more singles, projects, They're releasing. Coming. Don't be a stranger. I won't. Uh, yeah? Love represent from, from early. You lot have looked after me. Of so course, of course, I'll of course. I'll be here. All right, cool. Let's get into some Drake with Sticky.